simple sports fan. And I can tell you today that I saw two sporting events today. One of which was the Dodgers versus the Giants baseball. Now normally I wouldn't talk about a game like this, but the fact that I actually went to this game makes it relevant enough to make a video about it. That's the first thing. The second thing is the Mayweather Cornella or Cornello fight, which I will get to in a minute. That being said, the Dodgers lost today 19 to 3 or 18 to 3. Now, coming into this game, I never thought this would happen. I also never thought that I'd be around a bunch of Giants fans at Dodger Stadium talking a whole heap of doo-doo left and right, especially in this game, because it was not pretty. It got ugly fast. <sighs> that being said, I knew this was going to be a bad game from when they ran in three people in the first inning of the, the baseball game. Now, it's even more frustrating to know that the Dodgers are up here and the Giants are down here, literally. The Giants cannot amount to anything this baseball season. They're done. They're through. Dunsky. Vadabusha. And yet they still try to make other teams fall down in the standings. Because like I said, Dodgers are up here, they have a shot at making it to playoffs. And the Giants, no matter what they do, how many games they win, who they beat, they're never ever, ever gonna make playoffs. Ever, for any reason whatsoever. So my thinking is, why would you want to try and win for no reason. It just seems outright selfish of the other team to be like, hey, the Dodgers have a shot at going to playoffs. And since we're in the last place of everything, let's try and make them lose so they don't make the playoffs. frustrating especially for that reason for a team that has nowhere to go and is literally done and not even relevant in baseball they try and win I mean oh my God. if that isn't selfish I don't know what is but it doesn't matter it's only one game Dodgers are gonna make the playoffs they're going to win, of course, and then we're going to win the, the World Series. Bada bing, bada boom. Simple as that. But still, it's still frustrating to fight when you're already dead. And then ruin the chance of the person who has a chance to go up in this world. That person being the Dodgers. And the fans were not... If I ever become such an idiotic fan where I would root for a team that has nowhere to go at all, I just, oh my god, they're so stupid. I just wanted to punch people in the face and now I know why people end up getting killed at sporting events because they act like such a-holes for no reason. Especially in this situation when their team is dead in the water and they have no chance of coming up at all. And they're just ruining the Dodgers' win-loss ratio. But, you know, whatever. One game. 
people are always going to act the same. You can't change it. That being said, at this juncture of all junctures, Mayweather and Cornello. Oh my goodness. Was it even like a... Was it even a debate? Money Mayweather wins, of course, by a unanimous decision, of course. That being said, anyone who tries to oppose Mayweather will get beaten down, as Cornello soon figured out. Because, you know, if there's one thing I noticed between all of Mayweather's fights is that he doesn't even try. If you see him fight, he just... He doesn't even guard properly, like a proper boxer. He just puts his hands to the side and just moves. He moves his head from left to right, <clears throat> left to right. Sorry about that. And then they, the other person just, they just keep hitting and they miss. And he's not even trying to block, he's just like, He's not like... And then when he does get hit, he's just like... He doesn't feel it. He's a sponge. He doesn't feel anything. That's why he always wins. That's why he's a perfect wrecker. That's why his name is Muddy. Mayweather, he keeps a, a briefcase of a million dollars, carries it around with him every time. True facts. And everyone was hating on him too because he had Little Wayne, yeah, yeah, and Justin Bieber. Yeah, you know Justin Bieber, that little punk that no one likes. Well, as long as he's with Money Mayweather, then it makes him tolerable. But by himself, he's a total jerkwad. People were hating on them, and that, that just made it all feel so much better when Mayweather just. Just beat his booty hole. And that was always nice to see. Mayweather beating on someone. And making that money. He'll definitely make it rain tonight. That being said. That's all I have to say about sports. Not until tomorrow. Hopefully the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won't get ref balled. But it always seems to happen every season. It already happened with the Jets with that Bolshevik call, which potentially, understandably, quantanility Blah 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 made Jets win the game, without a doubt. Because they gave him 15 yards for that kick. If you take away 15 yards, they would have never made that kick. It's just, it never fails. It's always going to be ref ball every freaking season. And it's always our team. I've never seen another game where they get ref ball as terrible as we do. But whatever. We still have one Super Bowl under our belt. And that's all I need to be considered good. But, you know, we just have to wait and see. So with that said, at this juncture of all junctures, let's get ready for some sports. Yeah, I know. Always get ref ball. I don't know what to tell you. It just happens every season, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I just have to watch it. And for the times we do win, uh, thank God, there's so much flags already. That, uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, I got money made with it. Oh, yeah, he's a beast. He's a boist. He's a boist. He's a boist. No one can beat him. I mean, it's a simple hard truth. He's perfect. That's why he has a perfect record. Simple as that. You know, ah, you did. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this guy knows what I'm talking about. 